I've got Anna's. <laughs> Hello, world. Why is it so blurry again? I've got Anna's. Oh. Hello, world. Why is it so blurry again? There we go. So now we just sit and wait floors. Wow. So how's your day been? It's been pretty good, actually. Yeah. Minus the, the camera's up there. I don't uh, know why you always look. <clears throat> you always look down. Oh, I don't know. It's been a while. Oh, it we've, got, been a we've while. got a couple of people. Excellent. Hello, people. Hi, people. Now, I can't remember if the chat in YouTube is faster or I think it's slower. Three people. Hello, three people. <laughs> Torsi and Lawsy. One's already gone. Oh, oh, they're back again. How you doing, Groovers? That's the, the lurkers. Hi, lurkers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Hey, Bridget Parker. Thank you for keeping me entertained while I did admin work today. How are the bunnies? Bridget, Laura, Laura, Bridget. Hi, Bridget. It's weird that we're back to front, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Like that lamp is really <laughs> over there. Hi, Keza Kettle. How are you doing? Hi, Keza Kettle. We're going to do an unboxing. Oh, I'm going to get in the mood. I might wait for a second. Let's see if we can get to five people. Okay. What are the odds? <clears throat> I was on. going to be cheeky, Bridget, and say um, in Oni's that I was going to go live with Laura. Laura's Laura and I are having a sleepover. Yep, because she's now working in my area. I am. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's really cool. Loving it. And um, I know these are the right glasses, but they're filthy as always. I can't see a thing. I'm blind. Oh, you got Bella box, and Kez has just knocked off. Well, pour yourself a drink. We're having. Uh, crack and rum and dry ginger ale or ginger beer with some lemon with lime lime yes <laughs> I'm always getting my lemons and limes mixed up the green stuff yeah um so pour yourself a drink Keza you deserve it and um yeah we might have to do Bridget let's do a synchronized Bella box unboxing and see if they're the same so like I could go live on StreamYard, or you could, and we'll both unbox ours together. I need to get back into the boxes now that I'm employed. Now you have a job. Uh, yes, because, because I see over miss there, them immensely. Over on the dresser. Oh. So see that brown box? Yes. Guess what that is? Retreat? Yes. <sighs> oh, I've got a Retreat Yourself oh. box. I too had subscribed to all of these boxes and then I became unemployed and had to make sacrifices, one of which was no more subscription boxes. So now I think I'm going to get back into it because I loved them and I'm still using a lot of the, oh, the masks and the creams. Pretty much everything. I mean, there's a couple so of things handy. that I wouldn't use, so I've put them in my prep, my gift cupboard, but everyone that's received gifts from them. Oh, you've got a glass of red. Nice work, Keza. But, yeah, Bridget, let's do it. I'll, um, I'm happy to. I'm very, I'm very good now at not opening boxes. Like I picked up the Retreat Yourself box a couple of days ago. We might do so a late show. Man, be... We might do a late show and open the re retreat yourself yeah. box because that's a well, no one will be awake. No, I mean no one will be around. That's no. a problem. And this is such a weird time to go live because people are finishing work and getting home and cooking dinner. But we've got three people here. One who's not saying hello. <laughs> Hi, lurker. Don't be a stranger. Say hello. Say konnichiwa. Because <laughs> we've decided I'm cooking dinner later. But we've decided to open up the boxu, which I've had here for weeks as well. I'll take it out of this bag so I don't dox myself. And I haven't seen one of these boxes before or tried the content, so I'm pretty excited. I know mean, I didn't ask you, do you like Japanese snacks? Um, I don't dislike them. I haven't really had a lot of them. So I feel like tonight's going to be a new experience of trying Japanese snacks. Are you more of a um, rice cracker kind of girl or more of a mushy or more of a sweet? Um, probably more of a sweet. This could be interesting. But I'm happy to have a go. 
and try anything that's given to them. <coughs> now, so. I've been financially responsible and in the past I got the next size up of the boxy, which was too much. I've still got a whole tub of Japanese snacks, which I will eat over yeah. time. I take them with my lunches. But yeah. um, I thought this was a more realistic. Essentially, you still get exactly the same. It's weird. I've got to remember to go this way. <laughs> You get the same, no, that's no good. You get the same stuff in this. You just don't get four or five or six versions. You just get one or two. Okay. Um, oh, my God, Josh B, how you doing? Say hi to my mate, Lawsy. Oh, sorry, I should say L Taylor, baby daddy. That's Josh. Hi, Josh. A token straight boy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do that um, shortly, in fact, soon, and it'll be interesting to get some feedback from you flora um but what i'm going to do too because i love surprises i'm going to open it and put it around behind my computer so laura doesn't get a sneak peek yeah and we're just going to try shit and talk about it and then at the end we'll look at the the thing you get with it yeah and actually say what the fuck it is this could be interesting now do you i can't remember because when i was planning dinner i did have a feeling cooking seafood would backfire uh, I do eat seafood, mm -hmm. bar oysters, mussels, and what's the other thing? No, and I eat the rest, prawns, scallops. So it's just oysters and mussels. That oh, I'm Bridget, I told Laura about the baby crab in your mussel earlier and she nearly threw up. That's so awful. <laughs> Did you just feel like this little leg twitch on your lip or something? Or it was the... dead. Oh. It was, it was being, it had been, it was alive. It had been cooked, man. So I'm just going to get in the mood and put some chopsticks in my hair so that I look, you know, bog suey. And I don't go, that's Chinese. Because <laughs> I'm also wearing my Vietnamese earrings, which look Chinese as well, but they're not. They're Vietnamese. I like those. Yeah, they're cute. Hmm. Pull them up to the camera so I can see them. Oh, the light. See them? Oh, look, Bridget, your spoon. Oh, wrong arm. The spoon. Bridget made this. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she's clever. Very I talented. Every day. I didn't notice those before. Bridget. Oh, you did? Hmm. Yeah, and I gave my sissy, um, and I've got a pair, too, of earrings. Spoon earrings? Yeah. Oh, wow. And my sissy loves them. She loves them because of the detail. They actually look like proper spoons. Oh, wow. Cute, huh? So cute. So cute. Um, oh, hey, Elle Taylor, you came to show some love. Well, you can show some love to Laura, too. Hello, Elle Taylor. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> she's part of Elle Taylor, baby daddy. Yes, got that. And I think you guys have all subbed to my new channel, but if not, in the discussion page on the YouTube page, I'll jump over to YouTube so you can see us over there for a sec. See how it's a tiny bit. Oh, look, the spoons. Um, it's very blurry. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I've got to muck around with the actual camera settings, but I just, you know, I don't think about it. And then we go live and anyway. It doesn't matter. It's, it's on beyond. Yep. Um, so... Look at all the love. Look, don't start a root fest in my fucking unboxing with my mate Laura. <laughs> I mean, we're a bit pervy, but we're not that pervy. We're not into voyeurism. Well, if we are, we're not telling you about it. Eight minutes in and it's all already getting a bit uh, lovey. <laughs> God, I love a bit of cracking. I love so my crystal good. tumblers Me too. too. I'm such a granny. Tori has the best house and the best things. I always love coming down here. It's like going on holiday. I Thank always you. feel so super relaxed and zen when I leave. It's wonderful. I'm very lucky to have her. Well, I'm very lucky to have you because when I go to your house, I feel like I'm having a weekend in um... <laughs> the Maya department store. <laughs> <laughs> the Maya department store. Uh, it's a beautiful house as well with a very big lemon tree. I always leave with lots of lemons. Yes, I do love my lemons. I bet you're real pervy. We're opening the box. Um, okay, so the new channel, Josh, essentially because of the, we've had a chat about this recently, you and I, but because of the excessive amount of dra drama, drama channels, uh, American, American drama, um, I decided it was time we Australians showed you guys what drama is in Australia. So my channel is going to be very controversial and will involve, for example, uh, people calling in. Uh, there'll be a talkback section. 
where people can call in and talk about the biggest drama that has, you know, happened to them that week. So hypothetically, the other night when I was chatting about my drama channel idea, my drama was I slightly overcooked some leftover pizza. Bridget was that she found a baby crab in her muscles and also she had muscle juice in her bed. So obviously then there were penis jokes. Oh, wow. I didn't um, know about the muscle juice. <laughs> it just gets worse. Yeah, sorry about oh. my cough. I've still got bronchitis. I feel amazing. I just sound like a 59-year-old dude with emphysema, but, you know, we'll, we'll be right. Um, <laughs> and on the drama channel too, my fuck apron, which has got all the different things like fuck vegans, fuck millennials. There's going to be two shows a week on it. One show is going to be the talk back, call in with your biggest drama of the week. I've got a keyboard. After a drama, I'm going to go dun 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 or do a little ba-dum-cha. and um and then oh Pakistani chicken curry yum I love Pakistani food it's so spicy hot spicy um I had curry last night when I was watching Survivor it was two day it was one day old it was hotter than it was the night before when I made it yeah right oh, fuck, it was good um and then yeah so the other night will be a topic where we can all just vent you know fuck I mean, there's things like fuck moustaches, you know, just nothing majorly dramatic, but more dramatic than America because to me what happens in the American drama channels is they just bitch about everyone. Yeah. Where our dramas are. Real life, controversial, yeah. life-changing. Yeah. There's a crab in my muscle. Yeah. Dra drama. Or it took me half an hour to get home tonight. Correct. Yeah. That kind of shit. Yeah. Uh, and there'll also be some topical stuff. I'll be... I'm just going to do that because I think there's a little bit too much ceiling happening. Oh, that's a um, bit better. That's a bit better. Yeah. Uh, there'll also be um, uh, some funny stories from not just Australia but around the world uh, of some drama, real-life dramas. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a channel that I'd like to be part of. Like the chick in WA last week who's complained because of the barbecue her next-door neighbour cooking the barbecue and she's vegan and the meat smells. Oh, dear Lord. Her, that, yeah, is yeah. A, that is a perfect example of a drama. Massive drama. Yeah. So that's all it's about. Petty drama. Petty drama. But yeah. I've, I've um, been a bit tongue-in-cheek and called it the Australian controversial drama channel. ACDC. Thunder. Na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na. Thunder. We didn't rehearse that earlier. No. So, fuck muscle juice. <laughs> You let us know. Oh, good, Joshy likes the idea. It is going to be fun. And it's not just um, Australians like Josh because I'm on StreamYard now. Like, you know, I'll put the link up. You can come on in and uh, participate. So who in this channel or who in this video is Australian? Um, everyone except the old Taylor crew. Okay. Where, where are you guys from? They're from the US of A. Uh, whereabouts? I know where Josh is from because I went there. Well, I went to a town right near where he is um, and we couldn't believe it because I was like, oh, fuck, I went to a place in but fuck America and told yeah. him and he's like, that's 15 minutes from where I am. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Crazy, crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping to get to America soon. Here you go. The Vantage. Texas. Ah. And Iowa. Iowa. <clears throat> Excellent. But I'm not going to say the town that I've been to in Iowa that's 15 minutes from where Josh is because that's doxing. That's where you put out info, which makes it easy for people to track you down. Yeah. But, yeah, so there'll be um, – I want people from all over the world to call in and get involved in this drama, drama, real-life drama, because the definition of drama is not go live for eight hours bitching about other YouTubers. No. no. It's not what it means. No. And there's three components. I had them the other day. I can't remember them now. But one is you've got to have a certain type of reaction. One of them's emotional. Yeah. One, one of them's financial and one of them's something else. I don't know what they are. But, you know, that's going to be we'll basically look at the scorecard and work out. So, like, for example, Bridget's was clearly emotional. Yes. Right. So I'm opening the box boxu. We're not going to see what's in the box boxu. I've got it turned around. It's the fireworks festival edition. Oh gosh, <laughs> lots of confectionery. I feel. Do you reckon? Yeah. I don't know. Last time was all this sort of citrus flavored fireworks festival groovers. Um, you get this gorgeous little book that goes through 
all the different prefectures um, in Japan where the food comes from. Um, there's a survey we can take to win some points. You can buy all of these snacks online at the Boxu website. Oh. And next month's hint, gaze at the full moon, a rabbit pounds the moshi, fall begins again. So it's going to be some sort of Japanese drum, taiko drumming to bring in autumn, I reckon. Hmm. Maybe. Interesting. Because it's the year of the rabbit, isn't it? It is the year of the rabbit. Yes. <clears throat> so I think we've... We're close. Yeah. We'll find out. I can't remember what the clue was for this, but uh. at the end of the taste test, we will read this and um, find out what the fuck we've just eaten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and also on the dra drama, on the Australian Controversial Drama channel, the link is in my um, discussion page on my YouTube channel where you guys are already sub, but anyone watching a playback of this, if you've made it in this far, fuck, you're amazing. Uh, you'll find the link in my discussion tab. Come on board. Um, but the other thing is also reading out some of the comments and emails that I get from people. Yeah. Um, and I just want to, the reason I remembered that is because somebody watched a video of mine from six months ago. I was new to YouTube. I had a live scheduled. I hadn't quite finished eating dinner. Yeah. Usually it takes a while for people to wander in. Yeah. I'm sitting there eating my dinner and this guy's gone, there's nothing grosser than watching somebody eat food. And I was like, well, I can think of a shitload of things that are grosser. Oh. But thanks for the feedback. Uh, that kind <laughs> of shit. Oh, so helpful, isn't it? Now, Lawsy, there's normally a tea in here. So if necessary, oh. I'm going to possibly brew the tea for us to... To try? Try. But okay. let's see what's first out of the box, Sue. Oh, it's mysterious. <laughs> it's mysterious and kooky. Mm. I hope the guy that hates seeing people eat watches this. <laughs> I said to him, don't watch my tastings. Um, this is basically what it is. Anyone fluent in Japanese? Where's Mem? Where's being there? We need her. I should have texted her to tell her I was going live. Shit, hang on a sec. Give me 30 seconds. I will. Facebook. You just chat amongst yourselves. So how, how are you enjoying being gainfully employed again, Laura? I love it. I love it. Three weeks in and it's good. We're well, still there. So that's, I am still that's there. saying something. It is. Um, okay. Live now. Gorgeous. If you want to come in. Eating Japanese snacks with my mate, Laura. All right. Hopefully she'll get that and come and join us. Josh, how does it feel? Well, Keza, you can come on too. Everyone can come on. Um, so we've got six people watching us. I know. Look, it's, you know. It's incredible. It is. Where there has to be some sort of record. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're wrong. I got about sixty people when I went live about Christopher Watts. Yep. Mm. Surely our beach walk would have got a good um, viewing. Oh no, it didn't. Um, <laughs> but that's what we like. So yeah, essentially, it's it feels like a large biscuit, <laughs> and we're just gonna. Break Not it. Looking. We might as well. This looks like a rice, a big fat giant rice cracker to me. Like a toffee kind of. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be savory or sweet. Savory. Mm. It smells like seaweed. Well, it's Japanese. It's quite possibly <laughs> seaweed. There okay. you go. All right. Chow down, Flora. I should have got a bowl in case you don't like stuff. That's okay. If I run away, then. Well, you just chuck it on here. Here. Here's your bin bag. Mmm. Wow. Actually, it's really good. It's really good. Mmm. It's mm. like um, a barbecue-y type flavour, would you say? Yeah, kind of. Mm. I found some English. It says... um. It's from the Chongqing Chinese Szechuan restaurant. You can definitely taste Szechuan pepper. Mm. It's really good. It's crunchy, mm. but it's really good. Mm -hmm. mm, I like. 
Me laughing. Mm. Mm, me too. Good snack. What would you give it out of 10? Oh, it's so spicy and yummy. Um, 10. Yeah. I'm going to give it 30 out of 10. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I love rice crackers. And they do, it's like taking this to work as a snack. It's the best thing ever. No, I really like these. Mm. Off to a good start. Mm -hmm. mm. There won't be any left over because we're sharing this box. Oh, mm. fuck it. The hotness is kicking in now. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yum. It's got so many flavours. It feels like it's got a bit of prawn in it to me. There's a different, a bit of a prawny flavour. Mm, I'm getting a bit of that. Mm. Mm. Really good. Mm. <clears throat> now, if there's multiples of things, I'll save them for a rainy lunchbox. That is so good. It's kind of barbecuey. Mm. Spicy. Szechuan peppery, very spicy, a bit mm. prawny, mm. a little subtle prawny flavour. Not prawny, prawny. Not prawn, Josh. <laughs> mm. And crunchy as, yum. Well, clearly I liked it because I've just finished. Yeah, well, I'm about to. You talk while oh, you can't. I'll, I'll wait till you finish. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Yeah. From the Chungking Chinese Szechuan Restaurant. It's it's great. That after flavour is just really, really tasty. Mm. What's going on in chat? No, they're just talking about kissing us and pleasing women. They don't give a fuck. Candles. I know. Josh likes the porn time, Of course he does. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. Maybe if there's another giant cookie, we just have a bite. And don't actually sit here and make everyone watch us eat the whole thing. I think that's probably, yeah. Nobody mm. needs to see that, do they? No. No. Anywho. Mm. I'm always tempted to go on their website and order them. After kick. Um, yeah, me too, actually. Mm. They're really good. Mm. Really good. Yeah. Thanks, Boxu. So far? So far, so good. So good. What are you having for dinner, Bridget? I wonder if we'll even want dinner after all of this food. Probably not. <laughs> I'll tell her speaking or cookie. Oh, Hazel Turner, how are you? Spanking. Oh, God. Hazel, this is my mate Laura, and Ooh. we're doing a boxu Japanese snack box unboxing and sampling and rating. Yep. Hi, um, Hazel. You've only missed one giant cookie. Ah, oh, pork. Yum. Yeah, it is a long time no see. Good to see you in here, gorgeous. Hey, I've got a new channel too. So if you go to the discussion page on my channel, there's a link to it. It's a new drama channel. It's going to be amazing. We'll say, but Bridget says so anyway. Oh no, you just came out of hospital. Oh, you get it. You must be better, hopefully, or you're getting better. You might be recovering still. I'm allergic to pork, Bridget, so enjoy. Don't put pork on my fork. That's why Mel Mel calls me pork chop. Ah, I will never cook you pork then. No. I don't need a lot of pork anyway. All right, snack number two. Mini. <laughs> Check this little girl out. I love all these little Japanese things. I've got biscuits that are shaped like penises. I have oh, to show them fantastic. to you. Later. They expired three years ago, so four years ago, so I can't eat them. <laughs> we could. So where's we really do need being there because she could read this to us, but it does say in English mini up there. So it looks mini like little nuggets. <laughs> They little, look like mini worms or something. Little pretzely things. Actually, I yeah. need to get my scissors so we can have an open yeah. break. Um, I'm pleased you're okay, <coughs> Hazel. Yeah, me too. Oh, look. I'm going to get some zippy bags so I can put the leftovers in yeah it's yeah. fresh because sometimes i do the unboxing and then good idea 
Oh no, I'm thinking, I'm thinking ahead tonight. All right. I'm so glad you're feeling better, Hazel. So these look like little tiny pretzely things. Oh, they are minis. Here you go. Or like might even be a noodle. Noodle. Okay. Show it up to the camera. Soy snacks. I taste soy. You taste soy? Yeah. So they're like a little, they look like a little fried noodle. Me no likey. <laughs> <laughs> Me no likey. <laughs> okay. How many did you have? One. <laughs> they're fine. They're mm. like a little, um, yeah, there's a bit of a soy flavour. They're like a little pretzel. And um, yeah. They're kind of like a little barbecue shape, the aftertaste. All right, Laws, what are you giving? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just have a second one just in case this one tastes different from the first I kind of like it. I think it tastes a bit like a pizza shape or a barbecue shape. No. She ain't no fan. One. A one out of ten. Yeah. Well, I'm delighted with them. I'm giving them a ten out of No, I'm giving them a, what did I give the other one, 30? These, these little guys... I mean, they're a bit fiddly. They're a bit sort of small and fiddly, but I'm, I'm happy to give these groovers a 20 out of 10. So, so far for me, my boxu, actually, what I might do is stick the packet in there so I know it That's well. That's a good idea. I was going to say, so I know what I'm eating. I don't know what I'm fucking eating. <laughs> Does anyone know what I'm eating? A little oven-baked worms. I'll just put them in there anyway because at least at the end we can go back and see. So there you go, one thumbs down for, I wonder if someone could keep score. Ba we need Tanny or Annette in here. Hazel, we're in my living room. Josh said your friend looks like she could puke. <laughs> Quite possibly. She's playing up to the camera, Josh. She loved that shit. Yeah. She loved it. I'm going to eat it as a midnight snack. When Tori's asleep, I'm going to wander on out and help myself to the. Throw yourself a little baggie <laughs> of weirdness. Um, no, I like them. Um Hazel, we're in my living room <coughs> in Tasmania, Australia, where I've always been. Are you still in Spain? All right, next. Oh, a little card. Can we eat that? Do you know that little gate? See the little gate? Yeah. In Japan, they're red usually. Yeah. Do you know what they're called? No. A Tory gate. I did not know that. And also another um, definition of tori in Japanese is chicken. That's why they have yakitori. Ah. Well, there's a fun fact. So all my little, whenever I meet people from Japan, they're like, oh, hello, chicken. <laughs> uh, hello, Boxu buddies. Thank you for being a festive Boxu member. One of my favourite things about Japan is the Hanabi Taikai fireworks festivals. Maybe that's why everything's spicy. The takes place throughout the summer, such as the first one I attended back in 20... Oh, hurry, hurry up, Danny Dang. I don't give a shit about the <laughs> Suma de Gawa fireworks festival. I mean, I do, but just get on with it. The warm air, fantastic street food, amazing fireworks, the sights that can't be missed. I hope you enjoy this month's special curation of festival-inspired treats, maybe with some fireworks of your own. Happy snacking, and, yes, I've always been this cool. Oh, my Lord. That's so cute. <laughs> I feel bad I told Danny to shut the fuck up. Who says that? And, yes, I've always been this cool. Well, Japanese, they, I think that's great. Danny Tang's hilarious. <laughs> so a little handwritten card from the, well, not handwritten, but a little signed card from Danny Tang, the founder of Boxu, with a Tory gate. It's going straight on the fridge. I don't think there'll be any <coughs> dildos uh, like the other one. LK. Oh, shit, no. And, no. I, Josh, I, I cancelled that subscription. They were the biggest pain in the ass, not the dildos. Um, <laughs> but they quite possibly could have uh, been. Yeah. yeah. They were so painful to deal with. Holy shit. And I've still got that oversized electric blue negligee. <laughs> and I did, in case anyone's interested, I did test drive that dildo and, holy fuck, it nearly drilled a hole right through me. Through the back of my bed and out the back wall down onto the garden. Jesus Christ. At about 70 speeds. <laughs> and the most mellow speed was like a cordless power drill. <laughs> and it just went up from there. Like, 
I didn't even get to torpedo level. It wasn't pleasant. I, I threw it across the room. It's probably still on the floor. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, when, how do you get rid of them? Just put them in the bin. In the recycling? Is it a recyclable plastic? I've never. Well, you just chuck it in your. No, I think I might put it in the recycling. Give the guys at the recycling centre a chuckle. Yep. Could be recyclable plastic. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Bridget's dying. Pain in the ass. Oh, I've had these before. I love these. It's a sweet treat. Do you guys, for those of you who've seen my box here before, do you remember this little fishy? I love the little fishy. This is a pink one. The last one I had was yellow. This one looks like it might be strawberry flavoured. Yum. These are little wafers. They're on a little tray. Me dog. The packaging's so cute. Some of it's cute and some of it's just fucking wasteful, as you'll see in a minute. Look. Does it need its own little tray? No, it does not. But you guys remember the fishy? The last time I had lemon flavour. So this smells that strawberry. Oh, you can smell it. It smells yeah. like um, strawberry big M. It does. That's a flavoured milk here for you Americanos. Nice quick strawberry. Now do you want oh do you want the head or the tail? I'm gonna have to go the tail. Oh, okay. Really? Sure. You should have gone the head, there's more. Okay, here goes. It's like an aero bar, the middle of them. My mm. subs know I don't like fruit flavours, but it's quite bland. <laughs> don't you like the the fact that it's delicate? I love the attention to detail and the fish wafer, but um, the flavour's a bit. I think it's delicious, and I don't like berry flavoured anything. I'm not winning at this. <laughs> no, but boo to the excessive. Mm. I'm taking off points for that. I give this a five. Oh, you know, likey. If it were chocolate flavour, maybe. Mm. Yeah, five. Well, I'm taking some points off for the little tray. I mm. did that last time. But I'm giving that a 20 out of 10. Wow. Would have got 25 if not for the packaging. I don't like berry I'm fruity flavour. No, oh, it's good. It's mm. good. I don't like fruity anything, um, really. Oh, I do. I love fruit itself. Mm. <clears throat> oh my god, Eric! Hello. We've got another dude in the house. Eric usually gets proceeded like proceeds to get quite drunk. Oh, hi, um, Eric. Yeah, Laura, meet Laura, Eric. If you haven't met her before. Um, Hello. She's, she's a girl after your own heart. You're you've you've sculled that. I have run I've finished. You can go and make another one. I don't know how to use a soda stream. There's soda stream in the fridge. There was oh. I made enough for two drinks There's each. The ginger in the soda. Yeah, it's mixed. Oh, okay, well, go. I will go and make another one. So just bear with. Are you right. right? Yeah, I'm. I'm not a raging alcoholic like you. <laughs> I'm just trying to get rid of the. All oh, right. Oven baked worms. Yeah, that's why I normally do the cup of tea or water for washing down. Oh, someone's left us, but. Um, Eric, you've just joined us. Howdy, howdy, Dallas. Howdy, y'all. Um, we're probably not quite halfway, but we're um, doing a box to unboxing with my friend Laura, who's currently fixing herself another beverage. Because she's a raging alcoholic. I really don't know why the camera is so average on this computer. It's like a very high-end laptop that just has a shit camera. I might have to actually buy a, a camera, like a plug in one. Because the reception's way better off my phone. I mean, I suppose we could have actually gone live on um, Streamlabs, not Streamyard. I mean, gone on my phone probably would have been better. But I'm gonna muck around with my camera later. Lori, Lori, Lawsy can help me. Oh, I just put a bit too much rum in there. I think. Oh, uh, she's gonna be off her titties. Yeah. Two pot screamer. Come over, Eric. <laughs> Laura. Laura, Laura will be very accommodating. <laughs> pimping me out. <laughs> totally pimping you out. It's a long way from, look, he's going, hello, hello. Uh -huh. Eric's sussing out the flora. 
Right, on we go. All right, these are more rice crackers. Um, the so It says sauce you must send. And they look like they're probably a little bit a little bit seaweedy, a little bit rock and roll. A little bit seaweedy. I wonder if this fixes it. If I turn that off. No, it's worse. <laughs> what about if this fixes it? No, that's at full bore. Oh, that's better. That's so much better. It's just blurry. Mm. Um, so anyway, these little ricey crackers, I know I'm going to love them already. Um, Eric said to grab another drink and he'd like to check out your box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yum. Oh, yum. Me likey. Mm. All right, in you go. All righty, peeps. Here's my box, Eric. Oh, I love these. These are really good. Oh, mm. Mm, yum. Yeah. Mm. They're my favourite. Wow. Well, yeah, they're better than the first one was amazing and they're better. Mm. Here, have another one. Well, I'm totally going to have another one. In fact, I'm going to have two. <laughs> <laughs> so these are rice crackers. Yeah, see, StreamYards, I've got to, we've got to fuck around with my computer, my camera settings later. <coughs> Apologies like little, again for my cough. Tiny sarkatars. Yeah, they are. Mm. So they're little, cute little rice crackers, but they've got the most divine flavour. And according to this, it is, oh, where's it gone? I read the sauce out before. Here. Sauce, humison. So it's kind of barbecuey, mm. a little bit spicy. It's really good. There's kind of almost a seaweedy taste in there as well. Mm. Oh, they're really good. Mm. Yum. Eric, you've got box on the brain. He sure does. Mm. See, wide open for convenient access. My antennas. These are these are my attempts to go Japanese. Even though it's like they're chopsticks, it's Chinese. Guess what? They do use chopsticks in Japan too. No, I've messed them up. My, they look like my favourite Martian. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Hang on, let's go some more sideways. There we go. That's better. It's une they're uneven. That's oh. okay. I can't wait. Everything's opposite. <laughs> Makes you look like a right twit. Uh, so these, Laura, what are you going to give these out of 10? 30. Well, because I've already given the big cookie 30, I'm giving these a 35 out of 10. They were very good. Stop buying them off. That's going to be my midnight snack. Yeah, that can be a midnight. We'll have some yeah. more later. They were really good. Mm. Laura's going to nick them. I'm going to wake up in the morrow and my little tub of snacks can be <laughs> raided. All right. As if I'd do that to you. So we're probably about halfway through, I reckon, now. Oh, God, there's more. Oh, yeah, there's more. How big more. is this box? I know. It's like it's never ending. <laughs> oh, teeny weeny. Oh, look at this. Oh, cute. I'm not, oh, I am going to be able to show this. Guys, look. It's like I think it's going to be, oh, I broke it. Oops. There's a, oh, I can't, sh hopefully you can see it. Like on the packet there's actually a little uh, face and hair, but the thing inside it, to me it felt like a little lollipop. I sort of thought it ah. was, but whatever the ball that's now the head, whatever that's on, I've just broken. How cute is but it? But how cute is that? So cute. So it's like a little girl tucked up in, well, she's either in her little dress or she's in a little sleeping bag. I don't know. Or she's in bed. <laughs> I think I think they saw her face before. How cute. All right. <laughs> but I broke her. Oh. Oh. Wow, okay. So this <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> it's minuscule snacks. So there's a little rice cracker and then there's this little ball that was the head. That's so cute, though, because you think about it, that's designed to go in their lunches and it looks to me like they're just a couple of little rice crackers. Yeah. But how cute is it that you get that little 
doll it is very thing. cute so we'll try the rice cracker first okay thank you looks like a pretty standard rice cracker to me yeah standard mm, good flavor better That's than good. the australian ones mm. um I, i'm not quite sure what do you want me to cut it in half i'll go and get a knife and otherwise you can just eat it Hey? You can just eat it if you like. If no, you can't cut it. No, we're taste testing everything. The, the fact that there's a tiny little snack dressed up like a little girl in a sleeping bag. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way, bro. Right? <laughs> Eric, there's my knife. I think this is just a rice cracker. That's just a ball. It's probably the whole thing is probably going to collapse. It's not going to be easy to cut. Yeah. Oh look, there's a little <laughs> nut inside it. Oh, wow. Do you want to try the nut or do you want me to try the you nut? You can try the nut. Okay. I'll do the outer shell. All right. So there's a little teeny weeny nut inside of. That's just like a little salty biscuit. Mm. Which is pretty much what a rice cracker is. Yeah. Mm. With a peanut in it. Mm. So that's a little snack, I guess, that would go in a little Japanese lunchbox. We might as well eat. That's yummy. It's very cute. Very cute. Very cute packaging. Mm. Hey, Janelle Keen, how you doing? Hi, it Janelle. Is, it is the box that keeps on giving. Janelle, we're doing a boxu Japanese snack unboxing at the moment. Welcome. Look at my friend Laura. Hi there. So what do you think of that? I think um, in terms of... Going in a little Japanese preschooler's lunchbox. I'd go 15. Yeah, I'm giving it 15 as well yeah. out of 10. Look at Laura now. She's giving scores over 10 as well. Yeah. <clears throat> getting the hang of it now. Yeah, well, these things blew you out of the water. All right. <laughs> We're getting, must be getting close to the end. Oh, this looks like a solitary rice cracker as well. A single line rice cracker in its own quite a large packet. packet well they're making sure that their children don't get obese because in other countries they'd get a whole bag of these but in japan you just get one yeah and you savor it so yeah pretty nondescript looking rice cracker here we go all righty thank you mm, salty very yeah. very very salty really good i like that too mm. i love rice crackers i've never actually eaten one that i didn't like i think i'd give that a 25. oh well mm. i'm putting this in a 15. there's an aftertaste that's a bit stale and a bit dirty socks sort of for me oh. no i, I really i, I like really that. like the start of it but the taste that's at the end of it in my mouth isn't very nice that's what she said no, it tastes stale to me. What did Eric say? Yeah, the innuendo potential. Well, I hope you just got that last one about the salty tasting. Boom, boom. Tori doesn't like it. I really like the start of it. Just mm. the end was crap. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, damn it. I was just about to say that. Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Mm. Not a fan. Thank God there was only one of them. Yeah, for your sake. Ah, now I've had these before. I know these little fuckers. Uh, this is white strawberry, and yeah. they're so pretty when you turn them out. So this is a sweet snack. Yeah. They're very delicate, like okay. all Japanese everything is, and it's white strawberry, and this will you're either going to love it or hate it, but it's um, a real strawberry. Oh, wow. See that? Oh, my goodness. I don't know if they'll get to see it or not. But yeah, there you go. It's a freeze-dried strawberry, and I'm pretty sure the white is white chocolate shoved in it. Ooh. Shoved up its clacker. <laughs> there you go, Eric. Don't even need innuendo. I'm just going to be pervy and wrong. So I'm just going to slice this little fucker in half. Very well done there, Paul. There you go, Pet. Thanks, love. All right. Mm. 
this I'm winching because I just said it's a real strawberry that's being for them too acidic very sweet I don't find it that sweet I just find it really wrong well I love fresh fruit mm. 10 out of 10 I'm giving it a six I like the chocolatey it's not chocolatey enough for me I mean nice snack at school in your lunchbox <laughs> mm. you know if you got one of those you'd be happy I reckon I don't think I could eat a full one. Oh, you could mm. Mm. it's a bit yogurty or something too I just about and to I say, love yogurt I taste but... yogurt mm. like those yogurt balls <coughs> so <coughs> pardon me sorry rice crackers on a sore throat is like I have seasoning in the back of my throat uh so the white strawberry can I change my score to an eight no okay what did you give it originally a 10, a 10. no I stick out a 10. okay Thank God that wasn't the last thing. Is there more? My goodness. Oh, no, I reckon this will be. Box. Oh, look, it's sweet and it's got Nutella y looking filling. Ooh. Check it out. With some sort of, see down there? Looks like some sort of cake with a chocolate filling. There's a look, there's a little doggy going, Sayonara, Konnichiwa, Sushi. <laughs> It's got its own little tray, part of me, which we know I'm not going to be happy about. Let's see what this is. Can you change your score? See, <laughs> Josh is laughing at him like nut. We'll be here till Christmas. Oh, my God, we've hit double figures. Oh, oh. Oh, you've got to make it yourself? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what on earth is that? All right, I think we're fucked with this because I think Oh, look what I found on my top. Sorry. What's that? One of those. Oh, yeah, those things you didn't like. Yeah, worms. All right. Uh, we've got a problem because I don't have a microwave and I can't read the instructions. I mean, clearly, yes, it all gets mixed together. But for how long? And... I think that needs to be heated. Surely you don't eat that. It looks like it has to cook. Yeah. Basically, what we've got is a little sachet of powder. It's kind of cute. Mm-hmm. There's a powder that's probably some sort of little flowery type thing. Then there's this sachet of gelatinous liquid that looks a lot like sperm. I was just about to say it looks like sperm. <laughs> Actually <laughs> does. <laughs> it truly does look like a bag of jizz. Yeah. <laughs> we got a bag of jizz. Yeah. Uh, Day to eat it. I, I want to eat it all together. Yeah, I know. And then there's this little duty thing which could look like soy sauce, but <laughs> I thought it was going to be sweet, but that might be soy. Yeah, it does look like soy sauce. It does. And then there's a little tray and according to oh, it's got it's a it's got static so the the <laughs> shell from the peanut. <laughs> um so it's got the little tray and then there's a little teeny weeny spoon. Although if this was something you took off to school, should we try and make it? We'll see what we'll see if it <laughs> turns into a cake. Just I mean, there's instructions on the back that basically says pour in the bag of jizz and then pour these two and in. then pour the flour and this. But I mean, we could well, let's save it to the end. Okay, all right, good idea. At the end, hang around, guys. We're going to cook a bag of jizz. <laughs> We'll have a look at it because it doesn't sort of indicate, I mean, I know I can't read Japanese, but it doesn't look like you cook, does it? No. But what if that says mix ingredients and put in microwave for two minutes on high? Because we just don't know, do we? No. And what's that? Now I'm looking at that smarmy little dog going, I can't <laughs> fucking read what you're saying, you prick. I'm curious, though. I mean, we could mix it and eat it raw, but we might get sick. I'm not keen Because to me anymore. it looks like there's a bit of a cooking process because that looks like a bit of cake. I can't see how a bag of jizz <laughs> and that mixed with the soy all at the same time is going to make that. 
We'll have a look and see what the brochure says at the end. Yeah, good idea. Watch this space. But I mean, it's kind of fun. It is, but because to mm. me, I can't see how you can put all those liquids together and they're suddenly going to turn into a cake. A I think hot there's lava a, cake. I think that your hot lava cake. Yes. Correct. Yeah. There's still more. Oh my goodness. What on what earth? What the fuck is that? <laughs> That looks like it looks like a rice crispy that somebody has bled on and left it in the gutter and then it's got maggots. And what are these things? Oh. All right, we don't know what this shit is, but it's gonna be weird, I reckon. I've got to kind of hold it at a weird angle for you to see it, but it essentially looks like a pile of slop. And what are they? All right, let's just dig in. Dried tomatoes. Who knows? Um, I feel scared. Oh my god, it's it's them. This is what they are. They're little pink half crescent random things. I reckon these are gonna blow our tits off. Oh. I reckon these are gonna be spicy as fuck. Okay. Pick it up. Right. <laughs> Pick it up. Okay. Three, two, one. Um, they're disgusting. How weird. It was weird. It's more weird than disgusting. What is that? That's, I can't even distinguish what flavour is. It sticks to your teeth. It does stick to your teeth. It's savoury. Mm -hmm. But it's... See if you can see inside the bag. It's just a shitload of pink crescent things. What in God's name is this? Is it like a? That looks like. One. Oh, oh, hang on. Is that something? It was like something. No, no, it's right. No, they're. I think they're all the same. I mean, this is the giveaway. So it's, I think it's meant to be tomato and cheese, maybe. I'm not getting either of those flavors. I just can't. I can't work it out. I don't. I don't just like them. No. I don't. Oh, I don't know that if there was. If the there second were, one was a bit better than the first. I thought the second one was different again. Yeah, they're very salty. We go third. Okay. Well, this one's joined to another one. Yeah, well, I just had a double whammy that was stuck together. So you see how you go with two together because it completely changes it. I think. I think it, I think it's meant to be cheese and tomato. Oh, okay. Maybe it's even like pizza bread or something. But it doesn't taste anything like that. No, I'm. I don't know. It's the sort of thing I probably put out when people come over in a bowl on the bench in the yeah. kitchen and yeah. hope that it's all gone by the end of the <laughs> night. And if it's not, it'll just go in the, go bin. In the bin. I give it a four. Yeah, I'm thinking a four as well, Laws. Yeah, a four. Four to the weird bag of something. Fuck knows what. I think you're that's, right. I think it's trying to be like a pizza or like a. Yeah. That's, it's that's like what it looks like there. That's what they look like. But this does not, giant blob on the packet sort of looks like tomato sauce and cheese. Or blood and maggots. Or blood and maggots. Mm. Okay, that gets the weirdest thing award. Mm. Or oh, no. That's. So, jeez. Spoof tray gets the <laughs> spoof tray. <laughs> like, thank you, mummy. Thank you for putting a spoof tray in my lunch. I, re I really enjoyed my spoof tray for lunch today, mum. Can I have another Oh, one hang on. Here? What the fuck's going on? There's a tornado. Where, man? Let's scroll back up. A tornado two hours ago. My antennas went limp. They did Kezra. I'll give them an erection again. There you go, Dal. Um, Maybe they need to put it be put into the jizz tray. <laughs> There's a tornadoes. Cars flip power out. Businesses ruined. Oh no! Jesus mm. Christ! Mm. Here we are bitching about some blood and maggot crackers from Japan. Well, it's good to have, it's you know, life goes on, doesn't it? You know, in the face of adversity, it's good to have a chuckle. It is. 
Right. Oh, there's still a few left. Oh, oh the tea is always in the bottom, so we're not going to be doing the tea. So I might as well get the tea out now because I love taking these teas to work with me and doing a little um, tea ceremony because they're always so beautiful. So this is Satsu Mache, whatever that means. Satsu, just gorgeous. They just The teas are divine. Yeah, right. And there's just something really lovely about having a break at work. Yeah. And there's usually a tea Packaging and a little nice. snack. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a very pretty colour. Um, and, yeah, just taking a little bit of time out, making a beautiful cup of tea, having a little snack with it, pretty special. Yeah. There's, there's one. I'm hearing a lot of plastic still. There's two left. So right, you get to pick. One is long and thin and the other is short and round. <laughs> um, can I reach over and get... No, you just box. pick um, them. I'll go the short and round. <laughs> <coughs> oh, it's oh, these are little individual lollies. The last time I got this is so this is Ramoon Ramoon Ramune Ramoon candy. The last time I got a little bag of these, some of you guys might remember they were sake ones and they were beautiful. So these are like a little hard boiled lolly. Okay. So um, and they've got a resealable packet, which I really love. And I've still got some sake ones, so if you like these. Okay. But I don't know what flavour this daimonji, whatever that is. <laughs> They're kind of a greeny colour. Toss that tea in the trash. It was nasty. It's nasty. Oh, good. Everyone's safe. That's awesome. Thank you. Look at the um, shape of them. Yeah, South Dakota, sorry, was where the tornado was. Yeah, and so these are these little hard-boiled lollies. They're really cute, bluey, greeny colour. Sticky. They're kind of like the colour of the banner of my new channel. Yeah, they are actually. I'm actually going to save this because I think we'll eat whatever's there because this is a hard-boiled lolly. Okay. So maybe eat this at the end. Otherwise, we're just going to sit here sucking on an all-day sucker for all day. <laughs> Okay. All right. So we're going with long and thin. It's not that long. Oh, they're little cakey things <laughs> with a little cakey face, dude. Looks a little bit froggy. There's two of them, so we'll just share one. It's called Dora Choco. <laughs> I love the names and the packaging and everything. It's great stuff. So the next best thing to actually go in. Oh, these are very soft. Oh, they're like little pancakes. Pancakes with, with a chocolate, chocolate filling. filling. So they're like two little tiny pancakes with chocolate filling. I love it. Seriously, the Japanese are just so creative and fun. Slice Look how you've delicately oh, cut so that delicate. in half. Here you go, Flora. Thanks. Oh, cuteness. Bonza. So there you go. It's like a little Nutella sandwich in a very soft little pancake. I'll check the whole thing in. It's pretty dry. Seven. Oh, no, I'm giving it more than that. It's yummy. It's like Nutella. And... It needs to be more chocolatey. Yeah, but normally you get a whole one. We're just tasting mm. half. Three. Fourteen. Oh, you didn't stick with what no, you no, said. What did 14, you say? Three. Seven. Seven. Mm. It's got a weird aftertaste. Hi, Mel Mel. Hey, Mel Mel. What's happening? She's so disabled with her Mac, trying to get rid of crap on MacBook. You figured it out. Good girl. Um, I don't know about the pancake. I'm giving it seven. And I'm going to stick this little hard-boiled lolly in my gob because I don't like the aftertaste. That's what she said again. I just want to know what these taste like. <coughs> we will know in it. Oh. Um, do you taste like fizz? Yeah. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. Part of me is thinking it's really nasty. And another part of me is enjoying the fizz. It's like mm. um, a, 
What were those fizzy lollies that we had as kids? Oh, um, fizzy fruit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's exactly what they're like. Mm. Mm. Well, I have the fun, but what is that flavor? I don't know, but I feel like I'm going to get a sore jaw from sucking it because it seems to be taking a while to get down to the. It's an all-day sucker. Like, oh, you. What's what? a hardboard lolly? Like, you might have it for a few hours. Oh, what? I just can't look at what it tastes like. It has to taste like string to me. <laughs> I think these will dissolve quite quickly. It doesn't really have a flavour. It does. String. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, like, if string had a taste, not not the natural fibre string, but, you know, the plasticky string, if yeah, it had yeah. a taste. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mel Mel. That's really nice. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. And my grandpa died two weeks after Nan. I, I did tell her that, yeah. but she only liked your grandma. <laughs> Everyone meet Tori. <laughs> oh, most God. inappropriate humour. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we're good friends. We can get, we can say shit like that and not get upset. No. If you said that in America, someone would be fucking triggered. Oh. Somebody watching who had nothing to do with us would be triggered and they'd be, you know, shut down her channel. <laughs> she made a joke about... Laura's dead grandfather, who I don't know. I don't even know Laura, but I'm triggered. <laughs> that's true. That's what will happen. Stupid. So apart from the, what do you call it, the spoof tray? Yeah. She's in a, she's in a pot. Look, Mel Mel, in my box so I've got a bag of jizz. It looks exactly, and it feels like semen. Can I have a touch? It's gelatin. Feel rather? Oh, my God. I know. I am. But we think it needs to cook in a microwave. We can't read the instructions. I did invite Bean there because she reads Japanese fluently, but let's have a look. Just to rehash, I'll just check that's it. That is it. Um, also, if anyone wants to subscribe to Boxer, I'll put this in the comments, but there's a code there. I know Bridget loves codes. Crave 10. Crave 10 will give you 10% off in the Boxu market. So scribble that down if you like what you see. How's your ball going? <laughs> Shrinking. Mm, so is mine. Mm. I'm sucking my life out of it. Me too. Hey, look, there's two of those little people. We only got one. Yeah. Anyway, that's all right. So, oh, I think you only get one in the classic. Well, we've got the tasting. I'm oh, sorry, we're getting the tasting. The tasting gets 10 to 14 items. Bye, somebody. <gasps> Mem, hello. We were talking about Mem and she appeared being there. Are oh, they a bunch of pussies, L. Taylor? Triggered. If you, I mean, if you're that easily triggered, don't go on social media of any nature, Facebook, Instagram, Twitters. Exactly. The YouTubes. Just don't fucking go there. No. Um, well, Josh B, the uh, what's the congratulations for? I'm not sure. You're going do yourself insemination to make a lozatory love child. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't need more of us on the planet. Mm -mm. Two is enough. And mm. she's an identical twin. There's another version of her walking around. Exactly. That's fucking weird. Mm. That's right. Um, so I want to know if this, if we can make the jizz in a pot. Well. Because if not, if it requires microwaving, I'm going to take this to work. Men, <clears throat> being there, you know Japan, in my box zoo, I've got this little tray. I've got a bag of jizz. <laughs> I've got a bag of powder. I've got a bag of what might be soy sauce. We we're kind of hoping it was chocolate. 
And I got a little teeny weeny spoon. And the instructions on the back of the packet suggest to me that you put the jizz in first and then you add these two and you mix it all up and probably have to microwave it because it ultimately looks like a lava cake. Yeah. Are you familiar with this snack? Or if we stick this up our uh, fanulas, shall we bear Japanese babies in nine months? <laughs> I'm not doing that. No, I am I. I'm just curious. <laughs> I don't know if you can hold up. The, the, fizz, the fizzy fruit's coming down. It's quite nice now. It's nice. It it's got, like that. It um, got rid of the taste of the little pancake thing. That powder's sort of dusted over the top of it. That's what I'm saying. I don't yeah. think that picture is inaccurate. I really don't think it's going to end up looking like that if this goes in the microwave or not. No. Let's have a look. Well, here we go. <coughs> <That's>, <coughs> pardon me. I've got emphysema and I'm a 98-year-old man. Um, you can learn a little bit of Japanese. That's cute. So we got the white strawberry. Which was delicious. Yeah. No, it wasn't that great. Yogurty. You weren't a fan of the Thai strawberry fish, but I liked it. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Let's go back. Let's show the scraps. Okay. So we had the white strawberry, the white chocolate strawberry thing that came in this little sachet. We didn't really like that. I mean, we didn't hate it. I didn't, yeah. There's nothing I didn't just didn't like. There's no. just, some things were knockouts. Yeah. Um. Pink fish, I actually didn't mind it. Laura, not so much a fan. No. Fussy bitch I am. Well, no, you're not. It was good to have two, two people's opinions. Neither of us really thought much of the little pancake, the Nutella-filled pancake. I didn't mind it. I, I, it's it's probably better than some of the other snacks that I didn't like. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, a cute little cake, maybe with a cup of tea would be nice. Because yeah. it was a bit, the cake was a bit dry. The Ramoon candy, which we're still sucking on. I finished mine. Oh, have you? Yeah. This stuff, I really like these little lollies. They're nice, aren't they? Let's see what flavour it is. Just like the original iconic summertime drink, Ramoon, this uniquely carbonated fizzy candy is truly refreshing. Yep. Yeah. Um, the shape is reminiscent of the tiny marble you find in the drink when you push down on the top to open the bottle and drink it up. Oh. They have marbles in their drinks. You have them 38 on oh, there. They don't even, that's the problem with my lives. No one gives a fuck about what we're doing, ever. They just chat about themselves. I'm triggered, man. <laughs> Okay, you ready for the flavours? Yeah. There's 37 flavours. OMG. Yuzu, kiwi and curry. Curry? Mm. And that is the flavour of one of our soda pops. Yeah, right. I can taste the curry. Yeah, I can't. I couldn't. Well, I finished it anyway. So. Mm. Oh, look, it's clear like lemonade. Anyway, the Benny Shoga fried kaki notane. <laughs> They were just fucking weird. These were weird. And I'm going to hold this up because you're not looking up there. Oh, sorry. See, look, they're still not. They're... Oh, Mim's been drinking those marble drinks for about 30 years. Wow, man. That's yummy. I forgot mine. Okay. It does. It says this flavor, flavorful fried Kakinotane features an unusual flavour, Benny Shoga. What's Benny Shoga? Pickled ginger. I couldn't taste the ginger. No. Oh. Couldn't um, really work out what I was tasting. It's red because that comes from the Umizu and it um, also contains alcohol. Oh. Oh, look, contains alcohol. All right. It's from the Osaka area. It's fried festival food. It's got fluffy, crunchy texture, sour ginger, 
fun and adventurous, and it's got alcohol in it too. Who would have thought? Weird. So weird. So weird. You know that big fat cracker we ate right at the start? Yes. Oh, God, happy that was good. days. Oh, so good. That's the Marla fried rice cracker. The flavour in this crack will blow your mind. It sure did. That was mm. amazing. Um, it's covered in fireworks on the outside of the packet and your mouth will tingle with flavour from capsicum. Mm. Don't worry, the spice isn't too overwhelming. It was fucking amazing, though. It was pretty mm. darn good. But I think they use the word capsicum for chilli as well. Oh, really? Yeah. I do. Men might know. She knows. Soy sauce contains alcohol fermented. Oh, didn't know that. No, we can read it being there. It's good. What the fuck? Bloke has stolen your car, as in your bloke or some random bloke. A fun and adventurous drink. The sauce you must send, these, oh, my God. Oh, Blake stole your car. Oh, Blake. I've heard some. Right. Oh, these, good. which we loved. Laura's eyeing them off. So. I am, actually. I'm going to have another one because they're really good. Oh, they'll clash with my fizzy lolly. Mm. Gosh, they're good. Mm. Okay, so they contain more flavour than what you might find in an entire meal. Worcestershire sauce. Mm -hmm. um, crunch into this wallop of flavour and you'll be transported to the Japanese summer festival under the stars and fireworks. So it's kind of like the Japanese version of Worcestershire sauce flavour. They were so good. They were amazing. They were the best, I think, in the box. Uh, the Big Cracker was probably my favourite. You didn't say that at the time. You said they, they were your faves. You, you f <laughs> I'm changing my mind. <laughs> Just... I think they were both. I think they were a tie for me. Yeah. I think they were both so good. It's really hard to split them. It is actually. Now, your favourite ones, though. Oh. The Baby Star Yakisoba. <laughs> um, I think that you probably don't like, or didn't like them because they're fishy. Yes. That's probably why. They contain mollusk shellfish, eggs, fish, crustacean shellfish. Yep. Um, but I really liked them. They're, they're trying to replicate a Japanese dish. And you eat them with chopsticks. I think that's meant to be funny. Oh. And for kids, that would keep them entertained, wouldn't it? It would, because it would be hard to pick them up. It would be. Bring those brains drunk. Yeah. Uh, the, the Tokyo box, no, it's the, there's only three types of box here. There's a vegetarian, a taste, which is the one where I get, tasting or the classic. But the food comes from all over Japan, ma'am, like even Okinawa. Okay, I'm going to save that till the end. Oh, it's got the instructions because there's still a few more things and then we'll go to the dish. Ah. Right, the tea, nothing really exciting to tell you about the tea. It's just the tea, but I'm looking forward to that. It's a green tea. Um, and it gives you instructions for brews. The little girl in the, the little two little rice crackers that were made to look like a little girl. I think Let's, that's over there, isn't it? To the left. To the left, to the left. Oh, here. Yeah. Yeah, so the little two rice crackers that were in that little packet that looked like a little doll or a little toy or whatever. Um, they, they mean flower dolls ah. and the cute doll designs on the packaging and they have different flowers on their dresses, kokishi and little cracker morsels with a peanut head and yummy soy sauce flavoured body. <coughs> they were good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they, were, they were cute. Well, I yeah. think of the whole concept of that going in a kid's lunchbox was kind of cute. Yeah. Um, the corn rice cracker, there was one lonely little rice cracker, this little fucker, <laughs> a corn a corn rice cracker. Um, so that was they tasted of sweet corn. Yeah, okay. That kind of explains that. Yeah. Because that was a bit weird. It was weird. 
Um, right, so that's everything we've got in the box except for the jizz. Woohoo! So let's have a look. Black syrup, kinako warabi moshi. Oh, my God. We don't have to zap it. Oh, my gosh. Do it yourself. Special moshi. Right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, so it's tapioca starch. Chewy and nutty with a jelly-like texture. This makes a frequent appearance in the summertime. It's sold from trucks. All right. You ready? Yep. You're brave? Yep. Right. Start with a small polystyrene tray. <laughs> I think this would be quite cute if you lived in Japan and this ended up if you like them. Yeah. So we have taken everything out and we are, oh, wait a minute. Cut open one end of the bag, take out the package clear white. Yeah, that's the jizz. <laughs> Warabamoshi, the black syrup, and the roasted soybean. They're out. Now, we open the jizz. <laughs> oh, we open the bag of jizz and slide it into the tray. Oh, so this might be in a lump. This might be a lumpy, bumpy. It might all be in one piece. Let's see if we can get live action here of this sliding into the tray oh <laughs> oh yeah so it's one big blob oh dear it's emerging like a turd from a butthole oh <laughs> i'm just going to put it there so it flies <coughs> down i see so this is it, it is intact so hang on i've got to put it down to squeeze out the this is incredible you can describe this laura i can't quite describe it it's like um a very like jellyfish or something it's a gelatinous blob of moshi and it came out pretty intact. perfectly it's come out of, you won't be able to see it because it's the same color as the tray but essentially in there oh you might be able to get a bit with the light there we, we'll show it to you in its dress it's a it's like a solid well it's moshi yeah have you ever had moshi no okay so it's a japanese sweet okay and it's like a jelly okay and it's gelatinous okay so yeah there's a solid oblong of that then we get the the um what the fuck is this shit Acid? called <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah shit sorry yeah the black syrup the kuromitsu i've never seen anything like this in my life and i'm going to drizzle oh hang on oh. chisel it all over my table chisel that on top You don't look convinced, Laura. Look at Laura's face, everybody. Look <laughs> at her face. I'm just. Hmm. Oh, yum. Um, not so yum. <laughs> mm. Me likey. It's kind of licorice -y. I don't mind it. I couldn't work out what the fuck it was. Now we're going to sprinkle the kanako. All over it. I've made a sticky mess. That's what she said. That's what he said. <laughs> Sprinkle this over the top. Laura, I can you not even I can't even see your face and I know you're just like, I can't deal with this. My face is just like <laughs> it looks like I'm gonna hell. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. <coughs> when you zap it. I, yeah, I can't tell. Lots, I can't. I can't keep up with chat. There's a lot of conversations going on. So you've got to zap it. Didn't say anything about zapping it. No. Who says you've got to zap it? Janelle. No. Ah, uh, no. No, it's, it, it looked, I mean, they've, what they've basically done is they've rolled it around in the powder and then they've Photoshop. sort of, yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's been, this is the, the legitimate, the real deal, which is what it looks like in the book. Oh, there. See? Yes. There is a picture of it in the book that looks like that. So you've sort of got the jelly with the black sauce and then the powdery stuff on top. They've styled the fuck out of it for the packaging. There's sticky juice everywhere. Because <laughs> there is. is the black. What's the black juice? And what is it? 
black syrup everywhere. Okay. Little poon. Are you going to try it first? Um, no, you go first. No, I want to see you eat your first moshi. <laughs> okay, here goes. I'm putting my hand under it because if that falls on my keyboard, I will cry. Where's the camera? Oh, you probably can't see. Anyway, little ball of jelly. You going to take the little spoon or do you want me to feed you like <laughs> no, a baby? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Like molasses or something. Can you not flick that on my computer? <clears throat> it doesn't get microwave. It's a raw, it's mushy. It's like a jelly. It's a raw. It's raw, right? It's a raw Japanese lolly. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is repugnant. Mm hmm. Mm. No. That might be an acquired taste. That is fucking disgusting. <laughs> like, it first went in, mm. I didn't mind it. Mm -mm. I'm kind of happily eating it. It was sort of a jelly. It was a bit gritty. <laughs> it's not good at all. What is that aftertaste? I don't know. I don't mm. know. Molasses was good at the middle bit was molasses, <laughs> but what's that end bit? It's like don't grass. <laughs> believe you flicked that onto my, they've just ruined my mouse i haven't have i well i'm not i can't reuse that it's got sticky jizz all over it the mouse the mouse pad oh sorry it's a notepad it's fine i'm being melodramatic i'm just gonna get a cloth to clean up the stuff on the table that'd be awesome and vomit oh i don't know about that one no i'm gonna eat one of those rice crackers <laughs> do you want one of those rice crackers no i'm not good though. No, really. How can you handle having that taste in your mouth? I just had some alcohol. Yeah, so did I. It's not enough. My God, that was disgusting. Mm. What does being there got to say? She loves everything Japanese. Oh. You need tiny hands for tiny spoons. Exactly, old Taylor. No, it's still sticky, ma'am. And there's more here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I can't even wipe it off. <laughs> I think we'd have to do a bit of spray and wiping dolls. Oh, we'll, when we, we get off air. We get off. Yeah. yeah, but can you grab um Not get off, get off. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's not that kind of a sleepover, Laura. <laughs> can I get what? <laughs> can you grab um a tea towel? Yes, of course. And I can dry oh Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Oh, that moshy moshy. Bleh, that was disgusting. I actually feel it's sick now. No, you don't. It's all in your head. Probably. Oh, pardon me. It's making me burp. I don't think we're going to puke. Blech. Well, we didn't end on a high note. We did not. Um, that was fun though. I mean, I'm that good. was that was gross, but it was fun to experience. I'm glad I tried it out. Me too. But I'm never fucking trying that shit in my life ever again. Me neither. Any questions before we? I need another drink. Um, Would you I'm like gonna, me to get I'm going to cook you? dinner. Would you like me to get you a drink? No, it's cool. We'll we'll end this now uh, or shortly. Um, <laughs> Any questions before we set sail? We might come back later and do the Retreat Yourself box unboxing just because Laura loves it and hasn't been getting it for a few seasons. Well, I haven't had it for 
six months. There you go. Well, it's only four a year, though. I know. So it's only a couple of seasons. But the goodness me box is monthly, isn't it? Yeah, but I've canned that. Have you? Mm. This guy was just getting too many. Yeah. I like these ones, the boxes, because they're wacky. Yeah. I love the Bella box because... I need to I use all the stuff and it's only 20 bucks a month. Yeah. And I love the retreat yourself because it's quarterly and fucking fantastic. And I love the whole concept behind the retreat yourself. Um, scratching my ankle. I no longer get the escape, the crates, because they were fucking insane. And um, the one with the dildo that could drill a wall through concrete. <laughs> drill a hole through concrete. That bloody um, negligee that was like. Oh, that was so disgusting. Oh, it was hideous. <laughs> and just because you've brought it up, I'm going to cook dinner in it. Oh, please don't. <laughs> uh, any questions? No. Um, L. Taylor changed the name. See, they're still just crapping on about shit, which is lovely, um, but weird. Um when there's not many people in chat. What's that link for, L Taylor? What are you up to? A new channel. Hang on. A new channel. Whose channel? Let's check it out. Do, do, do. Oh, it's my new channel. L Taylor, you're so cute. I've got 16 subs. You'll have 17. I'll subscribe. Thank you. Um, I did tell you about my new channel, ma'am, at great length the other day, but you were so fucking stoned and drunk. Um, <laughs> you didn't you didn't get a chance. And yeah, Josh, I would see now we're on the um YouTube screen. So I had I had forgotten that Josh Josh is Josh was um made a mod on my very first live. Everyone that came into my very first live, which included Laura, was made a mod. Yeah. So I've got a really weird collection of mods. Um, but, yeah, Joshy B was one of my very first shows ever. Aww. I know. Memories. Memories. Like the corner. And now he's a mod all over the place, but it was kind of funny at the time because Josh and I were just always mucking around and being dickheads. It seemed appropriate. Yeah. That's unusual for you to be acting like a dickhead. I know. Yeah. I know. What what happened? <laughs> oh, that's right. I woke up <laughs> and got on with being me. Being there, it looks awful. Oh, Mem's having issues with the mic. Mem, if that, if, well, I hope when she says she's abusing the microphone, she doesn't mean it's like <laughs> up her clacker. <laughs> she's going to put herself in timeout. <laughs> Don't you dare, beautiful girl. Thank you for joining us. And um, my new channel is the Australian Controversial Drama Channel, ACDC. I'm waiting to get sued. I hope I do get not sued, but I hope they. A warning. Yeah. Yeah. I hope they say. That would be pretty epic. And I'll be like, God, I didn't even think about that. Thunder. <laughs> you missed your cue. You missed your cue. Oh, huh, Laura! Yeah. Laura's like a um, a child on YouTube. She's just like she gets I all. I zone out. She zones out. And she's just like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, they're watching you. Watching them. <laughs> Creepy. They're all sitting there. No wonder they're not talking to us because you're just going. I haven't been doing it all night. I just zone out. Sorry, guys. I'm new to this life. Not that new. Well, it's really, it's only my second, third, fourth time. Maybe I'm not sure. I can't be sure. It is kind of weird, especially in Streamyard. We haven't used it before together. Um, um, Keza, my new channel is beautiful. Josh put the link. We are going to go and sit on the on my big deck, Josh. He loves that because it sounds like big dick. And then they, I get upset because that's how New Zealanders speak. Yeah, they do, don't they? Mm, we, we're offended by it. But, yeah, but all my friends in America think I'm saying my big dick. It's all right. Um, so Josh is putting the link up there, Keza Kettle, and it's um, Josh has put the link quite a few times. Good work. El Taylor is pointing out up there, up your bum. <laughs> 
Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, mate, to find your G-spot up your date. Did you know that? Dudes, G-spots are up their bum. I did not know that. Mm. I do now. Yeah. If any of the dudes stick a thumb up their ass tonight, they'll find out too if they haven't already. <coughs> I just lost someone talking about Josh, uh, Josh talking about Pete men's G-spots up their dates. I think because Josh is the only guy in here. Someone left. Someone didn't like that. Oh. Oh, well. Toughen up, buttercup. <laughs> so on that night, um, you go cook dinner. We said that at the same time, Mel, on that night. We're going to go cook dinner too. We were going to actually get the fuck off. Oh, maybe about now. Yeah, we did say 7.30. Yeah. Um, thanks for joining us. 18 subscribers. Yay. Snap, Mel, Mel. <laughs> and um, we may come back on later if we're... If we've had a few too many drinks and we think it's a good idea. And I, I showed Laura before how people can come and say hi in StreamYard. She's a bit excited about that. I am. In fact, Mel Mel or Bridget, if one of you is around, do you want to just jump in here for a quick second, like truly just a second, just so Laura can experience the joy of StreamYard? Any of you can. Anyone who wants to click the link. She's got to make Donna. She's trying to sound posh. I've got to go make. I've got to go make Donna. Uh, washing, washing means hello on the phone. I'm not washing machine. Washing, washing, washing. I'm going to type washy, washy means hello on the phone. Okay. She's choosing. She's using a microphone. Okay. And that's. It's a bit like me saying, "Call me, vol me, me no poop power." Okay. <laughs> Mushy, mushy. So next time we chat, ma'am, I'll just go, mushy, mushy. <coughs> Josh, do you want to call in? Someone, take the link. Sweet dreams, beautiful ma'am. Love you so much. Nighty night. Um, I don't think anyone's going to take the link. I think Mel Mel's gone to make Donna. <laughs> um, Mem's falling asleep. That's all right, Josh. You can just say good day, or just someone just for one second, so Laura can say. Otherwise, we'll do it later. Here's somebody. It's Mel Mel. <laughs> Hi. Hi. This way. This way. How do you? you Hi. You what, mate? Yeah. What? Was well, very very sorry for the loss of your grandfather and grandmother. On behalf of everyone in Tori's stream right now, except for Tori, she doesn't care. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm really. I've, I, I did keep them. asking Tori. She probably never told you because she's a bitch. But I did keep asking Tori how you were going all the time through Facebook chats and stuff. Oh, did she tell you? She didn't fucking tell you. Did she? She didn't tell you, Tori. <laughs> no. <laughs> God, all the crime. I passed on messages. Did you not get a message from my sister when you arrived? Yes. Yeah, if Laura actually picked up her fucking phone when I rang to talk to her to tell you about your special message, Mel Mel, she might have known. You're right. So, so since you're here, Laws, Mel Mel has been checking in on you, wanting to know how you're doing. That's so nice. I'm... <laughs> that's the exaggerated version. <laughs> How is um, Donna going? Cooking Donna. Oh, Donna. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, that was a that was a typo, but that's all right. <laughs> it's been a night of that. I, I, I can't, can't type. Look. What's wrong? I can't fucking type, Tori. I've got nails. Oh. Yeah, they've got all, you made them snap. Like, pointy. Yeah. She does these, bitch these days. <laughs> <laughs> she does these nails that she has to like. Layer up and heat, and she's got like a little gadget to cook them. And do you do that yourself? She does. Yeah. Is it, it sh shellac? It's poly gel, which what? is a mixture of gel and I, I can't find the camera properly. It's a mixture of gel and um, <laughs> acrylic, gel and acrylic, and it's in a tube. It's a paste. Right. And so you do you that. Have to basically mold them yourself because I don't like using the dual forms, which for stupid people. That's a dual form, okay? 
you'd put the paste, normally you would put the paste into here and then put it onto your nail and then you'd cook it in the nail microwave and um, ping, it's ready. And then you have to style. It's a very demanding task. How long does that take you to do? A year. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't it take you like three weeks to do one hand or three days to do one hand or something, wasn't it? Well, Tori, I did continue to take them off and then put them back on and take them off till they were perfect. But I have really wrecked my natural nails now. So my natural nails are screwed, but they look fantastic. So holy hell. Hey, Space so Monster. Space Monster. And also, Mem, I just want to say, beautiful, that I don't expect you to remember we had that chat. And yeah, I did it pretty quickly because the guy that did the logo got it back to me way quicker than I thought. But the funny thing is, he asked me to send a photo of me for my logo and the logo on my channel, he reckons, is an accurate representation of me. It looks nothing like me. I mean, if oh, I yeah, yeah. like that, would I be doing a YouTube channel? <laughs> Seriously, I'd be fucking boinking surfers all over Malibu. Boinking. And... <laughs> is that supposed to be you? <coughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> I know. How fucking hot am I? Originally, it had smoking. originally it had tattoos, and I was blonde. I said, "Dude, I don't know where you got the blonde hair and the tats up here from on the shoulder." But yeah, Whoa. that's. Me. Okay. I did have my hair. I did have a bandana on and like that, and I did have a an off the shoulder top on. That's about the extent of me. Yeah. Two seconds. Mm -hmm. I just got to address something. Josh B, we don't talk about tacos anymore. All right. What's I don't even want to tell anyone I want have tacos for dinner anymore. <sighs> Spacey, you're a bit late. We just Laura, my mate Laura, who you haven't met yet, I don't think. Has, Hi. Uh, do you remember Space Monster? I don't know. I'm not sure. We just did a boxu <laughs> unboxing, and. Um, do you want to come in a bit more? Sure. Yeah. And um, and then I've got so much space here. I can just do this if I want. We we're, we're really close. Yeah. Um, Mel Mel just came in because Laura hasn't experienced Streamyard before. Do you, what do you think of it? Do you enjoy it? I love it. I it's think it's fun, great. isn't it? Yeah, I really like it. And being there, we love you and Bridget. <laughs> this microphone thing is freaking hilarious. Sorry, it's a white flame, like, no, not white, Mike, Mike. I'm having my kids' shoes for my dance. <laughs> See what's happening to me? Put me down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Maybe you're the best. I, love I that remember, microphone. Tori, I just didn't. You do it so sick and it looks great. I subscribe. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. I love you so much. You have a lovely night. Oh, I read out the one that makes absolute sense. Mel, we love you too so, so much. You know that. Thank you for coming in, beautiful. I thought you said Mel, Mel. Then I said, what are you telling me you love me for when Mem's here? <laughs> well, I love you too, Mel, Mel. I oh, shut up. Bridget's obsessed with my logo. I oh, bless you, Bridget. You're cute. Thank you. Bridget says she's obsessed. Melma's like, is that meant to be fucking you? It looks nothing like you. <laughs> fucking nothing like you, fuck. Oh, I'm a, no, it's a great logo. I just, well, you know, it's. I'll uh, just shut up now. It's not me. I bet. I mean, it's it's not. Doesn't look like me. But I think she's a cute logo. She's sort of <laughs> cool. Mem. I'll be love you, Laura. Oh, my, that's not right. I said we love you, Laura. That's better. And Tori and everyone in chat, we love you. Please, please, and this life. <laughs> oh, this is gold. She's awesome. Please, please, and this life. I'll be love you, Laura. Oh, that's not right. I said we love you, Laura. <laughs> Oh, oh, ma'am. I can't wait to read back through the chat. This is so <laughs> fun. Oh, I forgot about doing this thing. I just didn't do this at all. The that, the highlighting, the comment thing. Here, we've got a good one. Sorry, it's a white flame. Like, no, not white. Mike, Mike, <laughs> I'm having my kids shoes for my dance. See what's happening to me. Put me down. <laughs> 
<laughs> there's a there's another one that says washing washing means hello on the phone. Yeah. I'm not washing machine washing 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 with it all okay. I'm gonna That's type washing washing means hello on the phone. Yeah, I did read that one out earlier, which, um, which I thought was pretty fresh. I think there's been a whole night time of them that we've missed. This could there's, be a rap song. There's <laughs> We love you, Mimi. Oh, hello, Jolene. My God, how are you? Ah, Jolene, welcome. Oh, Queedle to together. Yeah. Um, oh. We're all, it's it's dinner time in Australia. We've all got to cook foodstuffs. And um, we were chatting about yeah. my new channel, Jolene. There's a link in the, I think, there's just put it up. Oh, maybe. my God, being there, being a good mod. She clearly didn't use the microphone to do that. <laughs> yeah, but whose channel is it? <laughs> <laughs> shall we check it out? <laughs> Let's <laughs> check that one, that shall we? Now. Oh, she did it. Oh, there's me on the logo. It's a cute logo, though. Like, she's awesome. I like what he did. I love it. I absolutely love the logo. Yeah, because it's kind of like, oh, my God, it's the Australian. I wanted it to be um, uh, like a 50s, 60s or 60s sort of TV show. So I was kind of looking at, you know, Bewitched, um, that kind of show, that era for inspiration. And, yeah, we took a long time. I did a lot of um, exploring the interwebs for swatches of colour and, I mean, he... I think we had five revisions and it actually got to a point, no, probably more than five, seven revisions, and it got to the point I was like, I'm actually just happy with it as it is. Let's just do this because I, I kept changing my ideas slightly, adding words, taking words, all kinds of crap. But anyway, I think it's fun, hopefully. Yeah. But she sort of looks like she's going, oh, my God, how dramatic. Oh, uh, my God, I have gas at fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you do my <laughs> Did, like, you just, did you just say that? <laughs> and I kind of wanted her to be a bit pin-up girly cutesy and then with ACDC I wanted that to be all kind of, you know, so anyway, it was, I had fun. It was a good experience with Fiverr and I've got to give him credit. I will, um, he's sending me through a brand or something that I can put on the banner as well so he gets credit for it. Um, but it was really good fun dealing with him and he's going to do all of the social media icons and everything for me as well. But I, I kind of like it. I think it's kind of timeless and so it is it's beautiful, beautiful yeah. color, very catchy, very professional. Very unlike professional. anything I have going on. Hold well, on, this channel. Although I do have Laura, and I do. Yep, curtains up, light the lights. This is in the light of lights. I know what heights we'll hit. I'm with the show. This is it. Go, Mel Mel. This is what we called in my picture. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong song. Uh, well, I like, I like him. well, look what I did too when I sang happy birthday to you. Oh, my <laughs> God, Laura, did you see that video? I watched mm. it about 20 times. No. Oh, yeah, so well, I'll send it to you when we're cooking dinner. Yeah. yeah. The happy birthday song. Josh, Josh sat there watching it like this. <laughs> Mum, why, why is she singing Australian Fair? What, <laughs> what's she doing? And I'm like, it's really hilarious. Just listen to it. <laughs> Those things are insane, and he's right. Um, we all are. I did see Aaron. Yeah, I haven't talked to Mel Mel or anyone for a couple of days. I did. Um, with the mask, that was hilarious. No, it I did think it scared the bejesus out of me. It was hilarious. Randy did not like that at all. Well, sorry, it scared the bejesus out of Randy. He was terrified. It's a creepy mask, though. Have you seen the ads for that new TV show? Um, because I watched Survivor, I was a total Survivor addict. In the ad breaks, when you're watching it online on 10 Play, they obviously have ads for other shows. And there's a show where celebrities are wearing masks and they sing. Oh. And then there's a panel and they've got to work out who the singer is. And I hate masks. They, they create that a lot of like um, I would totally avoid. It looks so fucking creepy. And they're all going, 
oh my god who is it who's singing and then they make them oh it's <sighs> celebrities look make your mind up you want to be a singer or you want to be an actor Don't I think it is a professional singers. they've got incredible voices but the beauty of watching Survivor is I tweet it and when the ad yes, breaks but um yeah so when the ad breaks on I'm busy over on the Twitters reading all the tweets so I can hear it I can hear the singing but I don't have to see the masks yeah and then when when Jonathan the yeah. is back and it's like you know the music kicks in then I jump back onto the screen but in the ad breaks that's when I'm tweeting it's tweeting palooza I, I know because she's like fuck off Mel I've got to go tweet I don't talk to you anymore <laughs> And I'm like, fine, whatever. Pretty much. <laughs> it's two nights a week. Two nights a week for one hour. My Been favourite show is Naked and Afraid. I haven't seen that well, When they put the naked strangers on an island together and yep. they're they dump them in there and then they get all these itchy bites all over them and all you can hear is and it's like sucked and in. They, I've seen versions of it where they don't blur out the dicks. Like I've seen Schlong. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm the wrong one. Same. Long dogs. Write it down. <laughs> the uncut, uncut. Both. What are you having for dinner? I don't fucking know. It's like five forty-five, and I've got nothing. Well, it's seven forty-five here, and we haven't stopped. Yeah, but you don't, shut up. You don't have a kid that's going to chew your ankle off. Yeah, dude. Oh. It's Laura. It's right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, Laura, you're having nuggets and chips for dinner. <laughs> no, Laura, if, my choice. And if, Laura, if you get annoyed, nachos. If you get annoyed about it, here's some butt hurt cream. That's right, <laughs> butt hurt cream. Easy application. Spread your cheeks <laughs> and just squeeze it right in there. Butt hurt cream. Get some. <laughs> Bring it on. So now we're never going to get off here because Mel's in her prop box. No, nah, that's just my hand cream on my bench. <laughs> <laughs> I've got. It, I've literally got everything that I could need here. Everything. Not. Yeah. We're having gourmet nachos. We're having nachos with chili con carne and avocado sour cream, cheddar cheese. Good. Yum. It's going to be fucking divine. Josh well, B, you'd know about that if you'd been around to watch my videos. What the fuck? I saw Josh the B. Not you, Josh B. <laughs> I even did a news report about where's Josh B. <laughs> he doesn't even know about the missing persons poster I made. <laughs> you don't realise how loved and missed he is. Yeah. Uh, Moon Tuck, hang on, I'm highlighting it. Moon Tacos? Moon Tacos, Josh. Your tacos look good, Josh. Your pork or pork are not really anti-lapel or I give up. Oh, my God. <laughs> the only reason I don't want to hang up. I'm having a brief, a brief and then crashing Uber Eats. I don't know what, though. <laughs> just order. I just feel like her Aussie burger. <laughs> just mem. Just my field like Aussie. Who's burger. Aussie burger? <laughs> <laughs> There's three Aussie burgers oh. right now. <laughs> oh god. We know oh. you Josh. We've missed you. It's lovely to see you though. It's been great. Ooh, that's gonna kill Josh B. I oh, know. <laughs> which which Aussie burger, Mem? You've got a choice of three on panel. Yeah, no, I'm her mother, so that's not happening. <laughs> Um, but maybe she just read out what you wrote. That I mean, she is funny. Mel Mel is funny, but she just read out what you wrote. I'm not funny without being there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. She's the one who feeds us all the one-liners. Yeah, yeah. I can have, don't you like if they have memes on my channel telling Mel Mel how fucking funny she is? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, I pay you to do that. That's fine. <laughs> Laura, oh, that you, sounds so good. <laughs> Laura and I are giving the death stare. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I got twins. <laughs> no deal. 
Yeah, find the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I know, isn't it weird? Because it's all back to front. It is. It's to be like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> right now, Josh B's doing it too. Look what you started. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm choking. All right. Well, I'm right. Gonna... Sorry, you did hands. Hands, you did heaps. We did. I got, I got it. Jazz hands. Spirit fingers. Oh, what the fuck? Is... Ooh, squash fly. Yeah, I got it. Dinner. I'm like that guy from Karate Kid. I'm not letting this end in another 10. We're not getting to the two-hour mark. That's ridiculous. I need food. I need – you've had a second rum. I'm still sitting here yeah. with an empty – I did. That's oh, fine. You guys can go and take over for a while. 48 minutes ago. No, I said, do you want me to get you a drink? And you said no. Yeah, 48 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't pay you to serve me one drink an hour. I pay you to – What is this? Right. Well, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. I'm out of here. Wait, we just we went. Oh, bye, Mel. Mel, come back, you bitch. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? Why I thought does this all the time? This microphone is awful. It's not. It's hilarious, and we love you. It's making me laugh. Now, can, I, can we kick, oh, we can kick you off. Bye. Bye. G'day. Fuck off. G'day. She's still there. G'day. <laughs> Hi. Fuck your mother. <laughs> you won't be doing that back. <clears throat> oh, I see she's laughing at Mel Mel. So we can't. Being there, I'm not ending this with you telling Mel Mel how fucking funny she is. You can fuck off, Mel. Maybe she'll appreciate what Laura and I do. <laughs> not quick enough, Mel. It's better. <laughs> I'm going. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Karen. Bye. Bye, Joshy. Bye. Bye, Taylor. Bye, Julie. Bye, Bye everyone. Mel. Bye. <laughs> Hang on, Mel. I've got something for you. It's in my she's, pocket. She's gone. Oh. See ya. Bye. Bye, everybody. Um, Boxu, delightful. Bye, Mel Mel. Bye. Bye, Bridget. And in being there's words to end the show. I can't read it all the time, sorry. As long as I'm trying, you get the just of it or the just of it, just the gist. I'm not just a just. Said you, said you got it, the gist. No, the gist, you got it by George. <laughs> well, from Laura, myself and Georgia G, thank you for joining us. It's been real. We love you heaps. Stay groovy. See you out there in the real world or on the YouTubes. Bye, everyone. Bye, Groovers. Keep waving. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>